what did I learn down at the burger shed today? I'm sitting down there with a glass of milk and Russell Tucker's already in there finishing up a little lunch and him, me and him go way back. And then Mort Dwidell's over there with somebody, I don't know who, some co-worker of his or something, and they're having some lunch. And so Mort hollers, that's a lot of milk you got there, Tavern. I said, well, that's a lot of french fries you got there, Mort. You know, it's like, who cares, buddy? You know, I can't have no milk. I said, no, I didn't know that, Mort. I never heard nothing like this, but there's a thing where you can't get milk, or it'll, like, turn your guts inside out, and it'll, like, it'll turn into, uh, like, cottage cheese right there in your guts. Milk toast ambivalence. Milk toast androgynous. Milk toast abotherment. Ambidextrous milk androgyny. I don't know. I ain't never heard of it. I thought he made it up. Sure enough, he pulled out these pills and he says, this helps settle down my guts if I get a hold of some dairy. Now, I heard of people being allergic to cats and peanuts, but, buddy. And I said more, you mean everything like milk? A milkshake, ice cream, any of that stuff you can't have. And he said, let me put it to you like this, Tabin. If I get a hold of any of that stuff, my wife will take the kids and they will head to a hotel or her mama's for the whole weekend because I will stink up the whole house. I'll clear it out, garage and all. It's going to smell like sour beef in a bowl of hot swamp water. And even though I never smelt what he was talking about, just the way he said it, put it together in my mind in a way where I thought, boy, that cannot be a good thing. I said, take care of that milk toast analogy, maltose apology, milk trait refugee, milk toast rosary, a milk trap eulogy, milk trait adragyny. Well, you think a lunch break's just a lunch break, but boy, you can learn a lot. You just ask some questions, and you end up with a guy like Mort Dwidell. You don't have to ask much, boy. He's one of them fellas that just stand up and tell, tell you what he's thinking. I saw one lady. She, I, she wasn't done. I could see she wrapped up her burger and walked out. She, was, she looked like she was going to dry heave a little bit. Hey, if you can't, if you can't handle a little story about milk trait but hygiene, uh, well, take your burger to go.